Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is x 3 xs In today's video, I'm going to show you guys what I have found at a trip store today, and let's get it started. So I found a floppy disk. I got five of them. I'll show you, but it doesn't say. It doesn't say um, how many megabytes of storage that are on here, and I am going to put an emulator game on it and put a name in front of the disk because a long time ago, back in the early 1980s, people used to put names on them when they create something. So this is floppy disk number one. Floppy disk number two. Put them right there. And floppy disk number four. Uh, num I mean number three, not number four. So this is number four. And the last one is number five. I only have five floppy disks that are completely empty and I would I could find a floppy disk that had a game on it. If you guys ever have a game that's on a floppy disk, you guys can uh, mail it to me as a fan as a fan mail. I'll do an unboxing video of it, but I should have done an unboxing of this, but it was in a plastic bag because I want to rip it open and just uh, test it out first. But I think I might make a remake video of it. And I also got a. Oh, let me move this out of the way. Because I don't want to break my floppy disks. So I found a. an Apple USB floppy disk. This was made for the iMac G3, and this is the Apple biggest mistake. I'll tell you a story about it right now. Okay, so Steve Jobs invented this, a USB floppy disk for the iMac G3, and he thought that people were still using floppy disk during the early 90s since the iMac G3 ever, since the iMac G3 come out, and, but, a lot of people are not using floppy disks anymore because people are using CDs and playing a game on computers instead of using floppy disks on a CD ROM. And Apple discontinued this a long time a long time ago. And when I first got this floppy the USB floppy disk, it doesn't work on a Windows computer. I touch it out it like, I can hear the beeping noise, it's like, doo -doo -doo, like that, which made it read the floppy disk drive. But it only worked on a Mac, I'll show you, I'll show you guys. And it, and it can read an iMac G3 if you guys are running with uh, 8.6 or Jaguar. But I want to give a shout out to the 8-Bit guy, you guys can check out his channel, he does, he makes videos of old school, old school stuff that he found and including retro computers, but I will be doing that on my channel, because I do have a lot of Apple collection, but I'm still collecting them, because they are worth a lot of money, and I'll show you how this thing works, and you can lock it, but it lock automatically for you. Because you don't want to, if you guys ever go floppy there, you don't want to put it this way. You want to face it this way. And let's put it in. And the light is green. And something will be popping up on Green and there it is. It doesn't say floppy on it, it only say uh, initialize one. 
But some of the discs might work because I have to blow on it because they've been around for like a very long time in order to make my computer delete it. And yeah. Anyway, if you like this video, so do a like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy it and stay tuned for my next um, thrift store treasure hunting video. And stay tuned.